This is the best Counter-Strike config to ever exist. Me and my friend Shamoon took the configs of the 25 best Counter-Strike players and put them all in an Excel sheet. After all the information was put in, I calculated the averages when you combine all the configs together. The link to the config is in the description. If you're someone who just wants the config and leave the video, that's fine. But I low-key hate you. But just using this config won't make you a better player. So I'm gonna be telling you three other ways that I've been using to improve in CS. But first, let's apply the config. All right, we're starting with the basic settings first we're gonna do the resolution most average is 4 by 3 and then the most average resolution is 1280 by 960 if we open up the console and type in sensitivity the most average sensitivity on a 400 dpi is 2.07 so i'm currently in the settings of my g pro super light which is the mouse that most pros use i'm going to set it to 400 over here this is way too slow for me in windows but this is what the pros use in counter strike then an additional setting which was the bright Brightness, it is on average 99.68 so i'm gonna just set it to 99 percent for the for the jokes so we're on crashes crosshair map right now and we're gonna set up the ultimate crosshair right now so if you copy and paste all of the values from the averages from the crosshair you would get this crosshair it is a small yellow crosshair it's actually pretty clean this is just taken from all the averages of the pro players all right let me just hold an ak for this one because we're gonna import the view model settings so i'm gonna paste them in here and this is what we get they're like almost nothing changed all right let's go over the video settings real quick which are obviously very important the global shadow quality will be set on medium model and texture detail will be on low texture streaming disabled effect detail will put that on low the shader detail will also be on low the anti-aliasing mode will be set to a times msaa and the fxaa anti-aliasing will be disabled Waiting for V-Sync is disabled, motion blur is disabled, triple monitor mode, like we don't need that. All these things we don't really need to pay attention to. These that I just applied are the most important ones. All right, I just applied the changes and uh, my my skin just disappeared to VAK. I don't know if that's supposed to be part of it, but it happened and it looks like absolute shit. Something that I've recently been using is Yprac. Yprac is a map you can download on the workshop and it offers you a lot of different ways you can actually improve at the game. I just loaded the Yprac Mirage guide because Mirage is one of the games I play and I suggest you download a Yprac map of a map that you like to play a lot. Okay, so let's select pre-fire practice here and we can select what we want like palace to site you can see in the chat mid to b apps to b underpass to a slope to site palace to site so let's try palace to site this is a position i like to play for example i will play on 60 percent i'll play on 40 percent spawns actually and let's jump in the middle so it starts all right so you spawn in the map and you have these boxes on the floor and i'll show you what it is it's just the positions of where the bots will be let's see if i can actually uh kill some so this basically makes you check for all positions of where enemies could be now when you do this you may think oh i want to peek this guy first but no when you do that you will get killed from this angle now i'm playing on a thousand hp so it won't happen but this basically makes you really check all angles and i think it's great especially for me you know i'm just beginning with my improvement journey and this is just genuinely helping and then when you spawn in again you'll see that there's different positions so you kind of like you can't really train yourself on the memory um, of where all these characters were previous round boom like this angle wasn't there it was there before you know it changes the whole time you have this line which is most optimal to move along uh, i got these two annoying ones okay i'm kind of clean with the taps though but yeah i definitely suggest playing this let's see where they are now so they're not under here you can also turn that off shit i didn't even get that tap but um, basically, this trains you to just check all the angles. If you put it on 100%, you'll really get the hang of it. Because, um, god damn, this is far away. If you put it on 100%, you'll get all the angles, which I don't think is a bad idea. But having them randomized is not a bad idea as well. So let's go back and put it on 100% just so I can show you. Now you have all the spawns over so this one. Then, and then you kind of get like an idea of what the correct order is to peek. So when you peek out here, boom, you want to peek this first. Then you want to peek that. Then you want to peek that and then you want to peek this and then when you drop down where do you go okay you got to check jungle and you got to check check the right side of the box left side of the box and this site and when you drop down there's two people here that you got to kill and this guy like there's so much going on oh there's even one ninja 
um yeah if you keep practicing this you will get better and you will like learn to check your angles more and pre-aim at the right angles and it's been helping me a lot personally this is another map by white Prac that i love to use it is and i'm, I'm not sponsored by them I, I don't even know if they do sponsor or whatever this is just genuinely a good service it is a aim practice map it's kind of like osu if you know that game where you just click the dots you um you just shoot the dots as fast as you can and you try and improve your score every time it just gives you a pretty good understanding of where to shoot or like where to flick with your muscle memory. That's what I meant to say. Um, let's see what score I can put down. And obviously you want to beat yourself every time that you play. And it's just a good um, good warm up. I just changed my settings, obviously, with the new config that I'm using. So it is a little bit hard for me to get used to this, but so far so good. Honestly, this config isn't bad at all. There's different settings on this game mode as well. So you can ch tweak it to however you like. The objects can move in a 3D direction or just 2D. They can be smaller, they can move fast, slow, all around the map as well. And at the bottom below me, you can see your progress. I'm not gonna check because I just wanna put down a score real quick. See if you guys can do this and uh, beat me. Put it down in the comments down below if you uh, did beat me, which shouldn't be too hard. 177 kills per minute, best time 50 seconds, accuracy, accu accu accuracy 96%. So that's not that bad. But yeah, you want to improve with that all the time. Let's go back. You can do a lot of different things here. I love using this. And the last thing that I really like to do is just play some regular headshot deathmatch. You know, you could do headshot deathmatch. You could play... I just like playing regular deathmatch, to be honest. I don't really care too much. I know there's servers for just headshot deathmatch, but I just aim for the heads. And that's really only the only thing that I'm going for. So what I'll do when playing deathmatch now is because I'm trying to improve my play style and my movement. Like I'm pretty good at bunny hopping and strafing, but I was never really good at counter strafing. So that's something that I've really been trying to improve. And honestly, this has been getting me killed in many situations. So trying to unlearn that after years of playing is pretty hard for me. What I'll do is I'll put like two dots on the wall and I just kind of like counter strafe in between them and try and stop at the right time and counter strafe them. I'm not warm at all, but see, this is what I mean. And this way, you know, I'm trying to like peak angles, try and use W as little as possible. This is something personal for me. You know, everybody has their own flaws, but acknowledging them and trying to improve upon them is eventually what's going to get you into a better rank in the game. Number three, you know, I, I really didn't know what else to put here, but just like working on a on deathmatch and just playing that would really, um, it would really personally benefit me because I'm working on this certain issue that I had. So number three, you could also see as, you know, looking at your own demos and acknowledging your flaws like reviewing your self play and work on the things that you are not good at i'm trying to use w less and that i do that in a way where let's say you're peaking this angle i don't use w to peak it like this i would rather pre-aim here and then i use a and d to peak it so that i can counter strafe it because if you use w and d or if you use w and a here to peak you have to counter strafe with the s and d key which is just an extra key that doesn't make any sense. When you peek this corner over here, A and D, obviously I didn't pre-aim it right. I don't ever play Inferno. Um, but yeah, that's just something that I've been trying to work on because for five years, I've never really been interested in, I guess, professional play or getting better. So that is it for me from a movement player perspective, I guess. 